uh, we were talking about feng, the intersection of feng shui organizing and um, interior de decorating or design. And tell me a little bit about how you used that new feng shui knowledge to, to bring that work to clients. Yeah, so when I, um, as I was saying previously, I was getting super frustrated as an organizer because people have a closet full of 50 shoes and they're and I'd be like, do you need all 50 shoes? And they're like, just make them look pretty. Um, and I kept wanting to understand why people were holding on to things, where the resistance was. And that's mm -hmm. when I um, took a deep dive actually into the energy world. So not just feng shui, I became a Reiki master, mm -hmm. um, a crystal energy therapist. I went all in. Um, in the energy world. And when I, I actually had studied feng shui decades ago, um, and so I back to it and I had this like aha moment when I realized the Bagua map, which is a tool that we use in feng shui, could explain why people were holding on to things. It could explain the reoccurring clutter. Um, hmm. And that was, <laughs> that was like this huge light bulb. I'm like, oh my gosh, I can help people in this way now. Is it, did you find that it was, they just had the stuff in the wrong place in the home and so it was tighter or just stuck energy all throughout um it's a little bit of both, both? you know it's people think um they always think it's what they're when they're feeling stuck it's like money or relationships right mm -hmm. you know, like i just need more money and things will be good i just need a better relationship and things will be good and what i was starting to see is like and i could see one of the things that you said when we started in your intro was our outer world is a reflection of our inner world. Mm -hmm. And so when I see somebody's house, I'm, um, people will tell me I'm intuitive. Um, I do not consider myself a uh, psychic. I, if you walk down the street, I wouldn't be like, oh, I see this for you. Right. But when I can see somebody's home. I actually can start to see what's holding them back. Mm -hmm. And it's not, like I said, it's not always in the wealth area because they're like, oh, just come and make my wealth area look better. Right. I would see the clutter in another place and it's really following breadcrumbs and based upon the Bagua map, which is an energy map, and mm -hmm. it's what area of your home is related to what area of your life. And so when you overlay this Bagua map on your floor plan, I know that the back left corner of your house is the wealth area. The back right corner is your relationship. And then I can start seeing these patterns in people's houses in their lives based upon that. Yeah. Um, I love that the way you describe the intuitive piece, because I am the same way. Um, and people are often like, well, why don't you need to come to my house before we start the organizing? And I'm like, because I, can see it the day we get there and know what to do in like five minutes and other people need a big plan like it's just a different way of, of working and so um that's interesting that it sounds like you do it a little bit more like me in terms of looking around and then solving the problem once you you see it on the day you're getting ready to work a Is lot that... of i listen to language yeah and how somebody what's always interesting is I will start, so I'll have some ASMR plan. I will have already overlaid the Bagua map on it and I'll get to know them. I'll say, you know, sh tell me where you're feeling because they're right away like, let me show you my mm -hmm. house. Like, no, wait, I want to understand you. I want to understand your life. I want to know mm -hmm. where you want to amplify your life. I want to know where you're feeling stuck. And so we'll have a conversation around that. And then I'll be like, so tell me, how would you describe your kitchen? And the words that they've used to describe their kitchen, and let's say we're talking about relationships and there happens to be in the relationship area, will meet how they feel in their relationship. Yes, I have found the same mirroring scenario with the modality I use, which is the Sacred Money Archetypes Assessment. Um, mm -hmm. And it's, it's uncanny how, um, I personally don't think it matters what modality you use, you should use or seek out a professional that has the one that resonates for you or you're interested in. Um, sometimes modalities are fun to do and they will almost always all tell you the same thing. <laughs> yeah. um, and so I love that. 